So in this Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video, I bring you a complete guide on 8 plus NPCs who can affect the Needle Knight leader battle within Ina Elam. These NPCs are Needle Light Leader, obviously, and then there's Red Man Freer, Hornscent, Fiola, Sir Ansbach, Moore, Dryleaf Dane, Saint Trina, and while we do this, people, there are other quests which can also be affected too, if you push on too far with these others. So I will talk about them and how far you need to take them before things can go bad and they break. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Needle Knightly, that is an NPC you first meet before entering the DLC. She also has an influence at the end of her questline, which brings into play many of the NPCs I just spoke about. This means, obviously, that if Knight Leader's quest is Progress 2-5 by interacting with the right people, it can break the quest, meaning you won't get said rewards on offer. There's also a point of no return within this DLC, which can in a way affect certain things, but nothing too major can be done if quests are started prior to this point. Now I will mention that some of these quests and NPCs have multiple optional choices and depending on what options you choose can determine how far these quests do go. Some can end real early, others can go to the very end which is the plan for today's video. So the NPCs and their quests that we will cover in their entirety today will be Needle Knight Leader, Hornscent, Sir Ansbach, Red Mane Freer, Moor, Fiola, Saint Trina, Dryleaf Dane, Horn Scent Grand Dam, and we're also going to be progressing Fire Knight Quailene so we don't miss out on his awesome rewards. Now time stamps for absolutely everything will be down below and although I will do these quests in a certain order for these NPCs they can differ in order up to a certain point so don't worry about that. I will also say it seems as though From Software haven't made it an absolute necessity uh, to clear every step of everyone's quests. Like for instance, clearing out all dialogue, which I always recommend doing anyway. But it does seem as though once a certain point has been hit with certain NPC quests, because some of these are tied together, it does seem as though progress in one may indeed pull others slightly forward too. I know this for a fact because I myself made a few mistakes but have been let off the hook by this safeguard that I believe is in place. I say this because I feel that final fight with Knight Leader is a big one which involves many of these NPCs. Also there is a section where things can change for the first time when you come to Shadow Keep and you will get a pop up on your screen saying something about a great rune has been broke and so too has a powerful charm. I did this way before progressing a lot of these quests but could still go back and do them and it didn't affect anything. So yeah. But when it does come to a certain point in this guide where an NPC has seemingly pushed on with his dialogue it's different for you. This could be that very reason, the game pulling things forward. Obviously skipping and progressing unnecessary dialogue. Also, as you guys know with my guides, I won't skip routes unless previously unlocked and doing said route in this video. I'm also very aware people ain't great at following speeded up videos or even videos without proper direction. But what I do is include graces with timestamps to shorten routes to destinations for players who likely have said graces discovered already. Okay, so let's start. So this starts with you speaking to Needle Knight Leader at Margwin's Palace before entering the DLC. Were you guided here by Kaimu Mikula? From here guys, you now want to go and speak to Red Mane Freya and Hornscent, who can be first found at the Three Paths Cross Grace. Remember to exhaust all dialogue options here people and to be safe, probably load back into the area at this grace to see if any more dialogue does pop up. Now throughout his questline, Hornscent talks about crosses and gives you maps. Now these are in no means tied to his questline, nor does the outcome of you finding these crosses change the quest. They are just for you to learn more about the lore surrounding the game story. Okay, so from here guys, push on slightly to come to the main gate cross grace where you now need to speak to Ansbach and then go and speak to more sitting down just right of him.
Buying any option here, more sales, offers a talk to more option uh, where you can get additional dialogue. Here guys, you can invest at that grace and get even further dialogue, which I suggest you do. So do this, speak to Ansbach again and then speak to more. From here guys, you want to go and find Fiola. I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce his name, but hey, he's located at the Pillar Path site of Grace. So from the castle front Grace guys, follow this path I take on screen now. The castle front's grace is just slightly northeast of that three paths cross grace. So follow this path I take on screen now and speak to Fiolia. Once you are done here and you've exhausted all dialogue, head back to that main gate cross and now speak with more yet again. Now here, after clearing out his dialogue, he should give you black syrup. Now if you did get that shadow keep message pop up on the screen before doing this, when you first come back to him here, he will have another slice of dialogue for you where he asks you a certain question and uh, now your choices here are put it behind you, remain sad forever or I don't know. Now if you do get this or when you do eventually get this guys, selecting the pull it behind you will result in you meeting more again where you will fight him in that needle knight leader inner elam fight where you can get his rewards. Choosing the remain sad forever option will result in Moore's death. Here then you can find his loot on a body on top of a dead pest enemy in Skadu Altus, directly north of the Church of the Crusade. Now the don't know option I believe leads you back to his dialogue where you get the choices again. I went with pull it behind you again though remember this dialogue is supposed to happen after that shadow keep message which will come to you in a second so keep that in mind. Now going on from this point clearing out all his dialogue he will give you that black syrup. From here guys you want to head back to that pillar path's grace and give Fiola the black syrup. Left to wither away. Here, Fiola will then give you her concoction. This is needed for her quest which we will come back to. Now upon reloading this area, he will have gone. So for the time being guys, sit on that concoction and now we move on. So from here guys, you want to go and meet Hornsent Grandam. To do this guys, you need to from the main gate cross grace, where Moore is sitting, you need to make your way to the small private altar grace. So follow the path I take on screen now.
So once here guys, follow the path I take to get the storeroom key. It's within here that we find Hornsent Gundam. So once you have this key, head back to that small private altar grace and follow this path I take across this balcony. At the far end you will find that store room. Upon you entering it, uh, you'll find Hornsent Grand Dam. But when you try and speak to her, she won't speak. That's fine for now, we push on. So head back to that small private altar grace and from here guys you do want to go and interact and fight with an invader called Fire Knight Quilene. Now although this doesn't have anything to do with Needle Knight Leader's quest, if you push on too far which I plan to do in this guide without doing this and interacting with this NPC and fighting and taking him out, it will mess up you finishing his quest and getting his loot later on. So keep that in mind. So follow this path I'm taking on the screen now and take this dude out. Okay, so now guys, we're going to push on and take on the boss of this settlement, the Divine Dancing Lion. So from the small private altar grace, follow the path I take on screen now up to this boss fight. So once you are here guys, you can enter the fight, but you can also summon Freya if you want to. So here, do what you gotta do, but upon defeating the Divine Dancing Lion, you receive his mask. So from here guys, you wanna head back to the small private altar grace and back to Hornsent Grand Dam. Here guys, you put on that Divine Dancing Lion mask and speak to her again. Here you will be rewarded for your work. Okay, so from here guys, we want to head back to the Three Paths Cross Grace and again speak with Ridmain Freer and Hornsent, making sure to clear out all dialogue options here guys. Okay, so from this point, we're going to push on through Castle Ensis because we want to defeat and take down Relena Twin Moon Knight. So from the Castle Front Grace, follow the path I take on screen now all the way up to that Relena boss fight.
So once you get here, you can summon Needle Knight Leader. Although this isn't a must to carry on with this quest, do what you gotta do. So upon you taking out Rulena Twin Moon Knight, from here guys, progress onto that first grace within Skaldu Altus. This is called the High Road Cross Grace. Once you get here, clear out all of Needle Knight Leader's dialogue and then onto Horn Sense. Clear it all out. If you have to reload the area to check if there's more, do this. Also at this point guys, grab that May the Best Win gesture. Now with this gesture, we'll go ahead and meet Dryleaf Dane. So from here guys, you want to make your way east to the Morph Ruins Grace. So once you are here, use this gesture in front of this NPC, whose name again is Dryleaf Dane. You will spawn then into a fight with him. Simply here, take him out. Okay, so from here guys, if you haven't already, approach the Shadow Keep. Now when you get here for the first time, you'll get a message pop up on your screen. So once that curse has been broken, as the message says, from here guys, you wanna head back to that main gate, Grace, and speak with Ansbach and clear out his dialogue. Then as I mentioned previously, speak with more if you didn't get that dialogue options before, meaning obviously you never got the shadow keep message pop up about that curse being broken before. That's fine. So speaking to more and getting that question pop up, you have the dialogue choices of pull it behind you. This will result in you meeting more again when you fight him in that needle knight leader fight, where you can then get his rewards. Choosing the remain sad forever option will result in more's death. You can then find his loot directly north of the church of the crusade. And then the third choice, I believe just repeats dialogue. So I'll select what you want, but I selected pull it behind you. Okay, so from here guys, you want to head back to that three paths cross grace. Here, speak to Freya, again clearing out all her dialogue. Now, I had this where she actually wasn't here for me, so I just progressed on. If this does happen to you, do not worry about it. So from here guys, we're going to head back to Horn Scent at the High Road cross grace. Upon you speaking with him, he mentions revenge on Mesmer. Again, clear out all dialogue. Next up, speak to Leda right nearby. Here she gives you two names of people she's going to target, uh, either Fiolia or Hornscent. Here, I don't think the option make much of a difference, and I think she targets Hornscent anyway, but that's who I did pick eventually. Okay, so next up, guys, we're going to head into the Shadow Keep. Uh, you want to make your way to the main gate plaza. This is locked behind the Golden Hippo boss fight. So take him out, and this is the grace you will unlock. So from this point, guys, follow the path I do take.
you will come to this point, a point in which I completely skipped, uh, which doesn't change the outcome of this quest line. But when you get here guys, if you followed this guide so far, there will be two summons on the floor in front of you. Here you can assist either Horn Scent or Leader, as they are about to face off. So choices are, help Horn Scent fight Leader, which allows you to then summon Horn Scent against Mesmer. This also gives you the Asher War Swift Slash if you take out Leader. Now if you help Leader against Horn Scent, you will not get his summon against the Mesmer fight. Now the third option is the one I took and I just completely ignored this fight, but that choice is yours. So from this point guys, we're going to track down and fight and defeat Mesmer. Now if you don't know the path to him, I have you covered. So from the main gate Plaza Grace, the grace you unlock after fighting the Golden Hippo, follow the path I take on screen now.
So from here guys, fight and defeat Mesmer. Summoning in Hauntent helps a lot too. Okay, so once you've got him down, from here guys, we're going to go and find Sir Hansbatch, who is found from the storehouse first floor grace. Simply follow this path I take on the screen now. Now once you get to him, clear out all of his dialogue. From here guys, you need to go and find Freya, who is located on the 7th floor. So from the storehouse first floor, Grace, follow the path I take on the screen now. It's quite a trek though. Now once you get all the way up here, clear out all of her dialogue. Oh. Hello. I'm afraid I'm busy. Then from here guys, you want to head back down to Ansbatch and select that dialogue option of tell him about Freya's decision. This will eventually pop up after you clear out all of his dialogue. Now from here guys, it's supposed to give you a letter for Freya. But for many people, including myself, it seemed a little bugged and he wasn't giving us. How I resolved this was by going and getting the secret right scroll and giving it to Ansbatch. Now the scroll can be found on that 7th floor. So from the storehouse 4th floor site of Grace, which you would have bypassed on your way up to Freya, follow the path I take on screen now to get this scroll.
Now, I read uh, online that for Freya's quest, you need this letter to be given to you by Ansbach. And you need this letter to be handed over to you before you give him this last right scroll. However, for me, he just wasn't giving me this letter, no matter how many times I reloaded into the game after quitting out. At this point, I just thought, screw it, and I handed over that scroll. I did that and then I quit out the game to test my luck and lo and behold when I next spoke to him he gave me that letter for Freya. So if you guys are stuck at this point and you're not getting that letter try giving him that scroll, quit out the game, load him back in and hopefully he will then give you that letter for Freya. So from here guys head back to that 7th floor Grace and give her the letter. Here you will get the Golden Lion Shield. Now after exhausting all of her dialogue, reloading the area, she will disappear. From here guys, head back down to Ansbach and speak to him one last time, clearing out his dialogue. Again reloading this area, he will also disappear and move on. From here guys, head back to Leda at the High Road Cross Grace. Here guys, she will ask you to help her defeat Ansbach. Okay, so next up we need to make our choice. This is done from where we last spoke to Ansbach. So again, head back to that storeroom first floor, Grace. Here guys, there will be two summon signs on the floor. Here, if you choose to help Ansbach against Leela, you will get the Swift Slash Ash of War, Leela's Rune and Ansbach Crossbow. This will also continue on Ansbach questline. And he will then become an ally in that Ina Elam fight against Leela later on but then he will go on to be summonable in the final boss of this DLC. Now here, if you choose to help Leda, you kill Ansbach. You do get his armor and you get his crossbow and you also get the retaliatory cross tree, which is something rewarded to you by Leda after this fight is over and you're heading back to the high road cross grace. Personally, I chose to help Ansbach here, but ultimately the choice is yours, but it definitely affects things later on. So if I were you, choose to help Ansbach here. Now here if you did side with Ansbach returning to that site of grace at the high road cross you will see that Needle Knight leader will be gone. So from this high road cross grace guys head to the church of crusade just northwest of this grace. Here you will have that second fight with the fire knight Quilleen and here if you take him out you will be rewarded the flame skewer ash of war as well as that prayer room key now the prayer room key is somewhere you go to to find his body and you can offer him one of two items namely the iris of grace or the iris of occultation as far as i'm aware though per playthrough you can only get one of each of these items but guys they can be used elsewhere, mainly Yolan's questline for her incredible Sword of Night and her Spirit Ash. Now I will link Yolan's questline in the video description. It's definitely a choice if I were you I'd think about before making any decisions you may regret. But if you want to know how you get to that prayer room, I'll link the video in the video description too. So yeah, check that out people. Okay, so for now, we move on with the quest at hand. Okay, so now, guys, you want to go back to that Fiolia quest line. So from here, guys, we need to make our way to the Cerulean coast. So people from the castle front side of Grace follow the path I take on the screen now, all the way to the stone coffin for sure. Now, the reason we have waited to do this is because that curse, that shadow keep that has been lifted, actually reveals the way so we can push on with Viola's questline.
Okay, so once you arrive here, you now have to push through this entire place, which is pretty big and full of hard hitting enemies. But be careful and follow in this path I take on screen now, the routes I take, taking out the same particular enemies, you'll be fine. And you will eventually, guys, end up at that boss fight with a putrescent knight. Okay, so upon taking out this boss, uh, after unlocking then that Garden of Deep Purple Grace, push on slightly to find Saint Trina along with Viola. I believe that's like the tenth time I've pronounced his name differently. What a weird name. So once you get here, you need to talk to Saint Trina, and here you need to imbibe that nectar. What this does is it kills you. So you have to do this, keep drinking this nectar until you get spoken to on that death screen. I believe it's four times in total they have to drink this nectar. Remember though to pick up your runes in between each drink. Oh. 
So after you've had that message on your dev screen, pass that on to Fiola, who's located right nearby. From here guys, reload into the area, into the Grace Point, and then you'll be invaded by Fiola. Upon you taking him out, you then get Saint Trina's smile. But again guys, you need to go and drink that nectar until you get another message pop up on screen. Then guys, go speak to Viola yet again and repeat this message to her. Now repeat this of drinking that nectar until you get the final message pop up on your screen where it says something about killing Michaela. Now what happened to me was my game crashed, I had to reload this and do this particular part of the quest yet again. So I just drank that nectar yet again and spoke to uh, Saint Trina and then Viola until I got that message on the death screen talking about killing Michaela. Simple as that. So as soon as you do get that message on your death screen about killing Macadia, uh, from here guys speak again and exhaust all of Fiola's dialogue. And then from here guys you are done and you will now be able to summon Fiola into the final boss fight. But prior to that you'll be able to spawn it into the Ena Elam Needle Knight leader fight as an ally. So cool. So now guys you need to push on and defeat Romina Saint of the Bud. This is a boss who is in the way of you burning a ceiling tree. But just before you get to this boss room encounter, you'll actually be invaded by Horn Scent. But yes, you'll come to that in a second. But from the storefront first floor of Grace, you want to follow this path I take on screen now to that Romina Saint of the Bud boss fight. It's quite a run, guys, so do be patient.
So upon defeating Hornset after he has invaded you, you get his gear. From here guys, you want to push on to that Lumina saying to the bud, boss, fight. So upon you taking out this boss, you want to go ahead then and burn that ceiling tree. Yep, go ahead, do it. Once this is done, it opens up Ina Elam. Now from here guys you want to make your way to that Needle Knight Leela fight which takes place within the cleansing chamber and to room. So following this path I take on screen now you will come to a couple of graces as well as a couple of enemies you may want to take out but for the most part you can run past them.
So you will eventually get to the cleansing chamber and room. Here upon your initial arrival, you'll get some dialogue from Lila. And this is where the fight happens. Now, if you followed what I did throughout this video, you should be able here to summon Viola and Sir Ansbach. Now, if Ansbach has died through your playthrough, depending on choices you made, here in his replacement, you'll be able to summon Sanguine Noble Natan. Now, upon you summoning your allies, and then you summoning Leda, she will summon her allies too. These will be Dryleaf Dane if you did go and use that gesture in front of him and defeated him. You will also see Reed Main Freya if you delivered the letter to her from Ansbach back at Shadow Keep. More will also join her if you chose the option of put it behind you. And then you will have Hornsen who will join her if he was not killed during his questline related invasions before setting fire to that ceiling tree so if you ignored him when running to the Romina Saint of the Bud boss fight I'm pretty sure he will spawn in here too so yeah he may also be a summoner here too if you didn't summon him against Mesmer but this I did do so I can't be certain on this Upon defeating the leader, reload the area, run back into the room and loot all the bodies of the NPCs who sided with leader. Okay, so taking out Needle Knight Leader, you now guys push on to the main boss of this game, who I won't spoil for you because the quests more or less end at this point. Uh, but now, just before this boss fight, you will see and you can speak to Sir Anjbach again, asking him about Viola and Morg. He's also available to summon for this fight if you follow this guide, along with Viola, if you followed exactly what I did. Now what I will say is if you summon these into the bite it makes the boss fight harder but after you taking out this boss after reloading the area you will be able to find Ansbach and Fiola's bodies on the ground in the arena. Examine them to obtain the obsidian, Lamina Reaper, Ansbach's full armor set and the incantation of Furious Blade of Ansbach. You will also get as well Fiola's hidden needle along with her weapon too. And well guys, there we have it, the end of this massive quest line involving all of these NPCs and while I really hope this video helped you out. Hitting that thumbs up really helps me out more than you probably know. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring guides, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.